My name is Jennifer Burdett. I'm a program analyst with GSA Study for Program. Thank you for joining us today for the presentation on GSA's travel programs and how making smart, cost-saving decisions when booking travel can help you and your agency. Today, we are going to show you how booking your travel through established GSA programs will help your agency save money while providing even more benefits to the traveler. At GSA, we emphasize mission, vision, and values. Our mission is to deliver the best customer experience and value in real estate, acquisition, and technology services to the government and the American people. Our vision is to be an effective and efficient government for the American people. We value service, accountability, and innovation. Now, keeping these in mind, let's dive into GSA's travel programs. You might be wondering, what are GSA's travel programs? Well, there's a program for most, if not all of your agency's needs. The first travel program is an online booking service. EGov Travel Services is an end-to-end -end booking tool that travelers use to make their travel arrangements. This service is used by civilian agencies, and depending on your agency, the service you use may be E2 Solutions or ConcurGov. The Department of Defense uses the Defense Travel System and or My Travel to make their travel arrangements, which is a separate service managed by the Defense Travel Management Office. Please note that this presentation does not cover DTS or My Travel. The second travel program, the City Pair program, procures and manages discounted air passenger transportation services for federal government travelers. This program has been around since 1980, and at its inception, only 11 markets were covered. Now, over 12,000 markets are covered under the program. This City Pair program continues to provide great value to the federal government and aims to grow markets solicited year over year. The third travel program is the government-wide rideshare program established in 2020, covering the top 50 domestic markets and providing numerous benefits to the federal government. Finally, there are three GSA travel programs for lodging. You may not know about all of these. We have bedrooms, long-term lodging, and emergency lodging. We have every trip covered, from one to 29 night stays, 30 plus night stays, and for agencies responding to natural disasters or events, we can help you out there as well. Let's dive in to learn more about these programs and how they bring value to your agency and also you as a federal taxpayer. The goal of GSA's travel programs is to provide agencies with programs and services that are efficient and effective to manage travel. The government-wide travel category currently has five best-in-class solutions. The City Fair Program, TDY Lodging, Emergency Lodging Services, Car Rental, and Employee Relocation Home Sales. GSA directly supports the government-wide category management goals, including spend under management and cost avoidance. GSA's Smart Pay program also provides uniform forms of payment for purchase of these travel services. Now, to highlight the benefits of using GSA's travel programs, we are going to follow a federal traveler using the programs to complete their mission. Let's meet our federal traveler. Rob is a GS-13 contracting officer for the Department of Transportation. Let's follow as he prepares for a TDY trip from his headquarters in Washington, D.C. to his regional office in New York. Rob begins his booking process by using the eGov travel service, also known as ETS2, to book his reservations. The ETS2 products available to civilian agencies 
our ET Solutions by CWT Sato Travel, and Concur Gup by SAP Concur. This system is a one-stop shop that can be utilized to book air, rail, lodging, and rental cars. If additional support is needed when booking, the Travel Management Center resource component is prepared to assist. Additionally, you'll use the system for any travel authorizations prior to travel and voucher processing after completion of travel. Reimbursement for approved travel expenses is complete on average in four days. On the Department of Defense side, a similar tool known as Defense Travel System and or My Travel is used instead. As a reminder, this presentation does not cover the Defense Travel System or My Travel. So what benefits are there for Rob by using his agency's eGov Travel Service System? For one, booking the majority of his travel needs at one time and in one system, rather than one by one on separate websites for each, saves time and is much simpler. Second, completing his reservations online saves $25 per transaction than a transaction requiring agent assistance. When the program first started, less than 50% of travelers used online tools. Now, about 80% of transactions are booked via an online tool, and we continue to push that further and further. However, we know there are instances like international travel where you might need to call an agent for help. But for most quick in and out TDY trips, there's really no reason not to book online and save your agency that $25. Third, the system is configured to be compliant with both the federal travel regulations and agency policy. This takes the guessing game out of booking in a compliant manner with icons identifying rooms or airfare that are compliant and notifying travelers of any non-compliant booking attempts. Finally, reimbursements are made quickly, on average within four days. Rob starts booking his air travel on the ECOV travel service system. The City Pair Program, or CPP, procures discounted air passenger transportation services for federal government travelers on official TDY. These are available to book on this tool. The City Pair Program is a mandatory use government-wide program. For FY23, there are eight contract airlines. Our small business airline, Silver Airways, then American, Alaska, Delta, Hawaiian, JetBlue, United, and Southwest Airlines. Over 12,100 markets are awarded under the program. Over 2,000 markets are awarded with nonstop service to save the government time and additional travel expenses. There are many benefits to Rob when he purchases a city pair program fare. The number one benefit is that tickets are fully refundable. So if his mission changes and he no longer needs to visit his regional office in New York, he can cancel his trip and receive a refund directly back to his smart pay card. Advanced purchase is not required, nor are there any change or cancellation penalties. We highly recommend booking as soon as you know you're traveling so you can increase your chances of getting a deeply discounted dash scale fare. However, prices are stable all fiscal year long, making budgeting easier. There are no blackout dates that would limit availability. In fact, our YCA fare offers last seat availability, meaning so long as there is a coach space available on the plane, travelers may purchase it. Fares are priced one way, so agencies can plan multiple destinations as needed. Also, Rob may add his frequent flyer loyalty membership to his ETS2 profile to earn points or miles that he can redeem on personally expensed upgrades, airfare, and ancillary fees. 
As I mentioned earlier, CPP encourages booking as soon as possible. Now this is why. CPP has two coach fairs. Now this is why. CPP has two coach fairs. The YCA fair, which acts as a ceiling price and offers last seat availability. And the Dash CA fair, which is a more deeply discounted price than the YCA with limited availability as determined by the airline. Over 92% of the markets awarded in FY23 have a Dash CA fair. Dash CA fares offer cost savings to agencies. For example, on Rob's trip from Ronald Reagan National Airport in DC to John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York City, Delta Airlines has a YCA fare of $165 and a Dash CA fare at $107. Rob should take the Dash CA fare, if it's available, to save $116 total or $58 each way. Rob should also consider other airports, as some may have lower fares. For example, say Rob wants to stick with John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York since it's closest to his regional office, but he wants to consider other airports in the DC area that he can depart from to save his agency money. The award out of Washington Dulles International offers connect service rather than nonstop service out of Ronald Reagan National, but is about $30 less than the YCA fare and $20 less than the Dash CA fare. In this case, flying out of Ronald Reagan National may still be the better option for him based on his preference for nonstop service, proximity to airports, and other deciding factors if he is able to book that Dash CA. Next, Rob is going to book his TDY lodging through his agency's EGOV travel service online booking tool. He is going to look for a Fedrooms property with a Fedrooms rate. Fedrooms offers rates at or below per diem with amenities and protections like 4 p.m. day of arrival cancellation policy in the U.S., free Wi-Fi, a dedicated help desk, no early checkout fees, and protection from add-ons such as resort or destination fees, which we've seen can be up to $50 a night. When booking through the online tools, you select a Fedrooms hotel from the search results. Then choose the Fedrooms rate from the choices available to you. If you call your TMC to make a reservation, you must ask for the Fedrooms rate when talking to the travel agent. Don't assume that the agent will book you a Fedrooms rate. And note, you must choose the Fedrooms rate in order to get the benefits and protections we talked about. You may see other rates at your chosen property. Also, Remember, you can earn loyalty points. And I know with the Concur Gov system, you can upload your Hilton Rewards and Marriott loyalty account. So when you book your room, the points automatically get updated. Now, here's a quick screenshot of how booking a Fedrooms property and rate looks like in the Concur Gov system. So as you see here, the listed property is Hotel Indigo. You see there is a nice green check mark showing it as a fully compliant option. It is a Fedrooms property. And if you click the drop down, you will see the Fedrooms rate, which is what is identified on the screen. So we know that we are below per diem. Rob is getting all of those benefits we mentioned on the previous slide and the best deal for his needs. For 2023, there are over 10,000 participating properties. Fedrooms has you covered for both domestic and international stays. For 2023, there are over 10,000 participating properties and over 2,700 markets around the globe at your favorite hotel chains. Fedrooms is the only government lodging program in place with rates, amenities, 
and protections negotiated on your behalf. Buyer beware. A gov rate offered at a hotel is not the same as the FedRIM's rate. You will not get the same benefits and protections. Gov rates likely come with heavier restrictions, such as one to five day cancellation policies, and a gov rate will not protect you from add on fees, such as resort or destination fees. So it makes it easier, as I said in the very beginning, to look for FedRIM's properties with FedRIM's rates at the very start. Here's another lodging solution for Rob's longer stays. Let's say Rob is going on TDY for 60 days because he is assigned to his regional office for a project. Rob doesn't want to stay in a hotel for two months as he can't do his own laundry or prepare his own meals. GSA offers a lodging solution called long-term lodging, which is designed to provide fully furnished apartment-style accommodations that include kitchen and laundry services from a pre-vetted pool of vendors available through the multiple award schedule. The long-term lodging program is designed for trips 30 nights or more within the contiguous United States though overseas accommodations are also possible. So Rob has a number of things he has in mind for a long-term lodging property. His trip is during the summertime, so we can ask for an apartment with a pool, or maybe he wants a gym, or to be within 10 miles of his TDY location. His agency can put all of these requirements together in a statement of work and push it out to the vendors on GSA's multiple award schedule. And then they will respond and let you know how they can meet your needs. His agency works directly with the vendor to make the award. In order to streamline the acquisition process, he can also use his SmartPay card either the IBA or a purchase card, so the agency benefits by getting some rebates. The micro-purchase threshold for using the SmartPay card to book long-term lodging reservations is $10,000 per month. If it is above that threshold, you may have to do a three vendor competition. Long-term lodging provides a dynamic lodging solution with multiple payment options to ease the burden of long-term travel. Now, what if Rob needs lodging for an emergency-related event? Emergency lodging is a best-in-class lodging solution available to meet needs that arise for hotels or apartments, as well as ancillary fees in these situations. This is a blanket purchase agreement available through the GSA multiple award schedule and is ideal for both planned and unplanned events, such as natural or man-made disasters, emergency related training, and more. Rob chose a hotel within walking distance of his regional office, but he needs transportation to and from the airport. The government-wide rideshare ride hail program is available to meet his needs in the top 50 domestic markets. The streamlined blanket purchase agreement managed by GSA makes it easy to utilize rideshare services from Lyft or Uber and comes with a number of benefits like upfront pricing, negotiated discounts, traceable transactions, data tracking, and additional smart pay rebates. What does the government-wide ride share ride hail solution look like in action? Agency dashboards are available to synchronize travel management. In this dashboard, agencies are able to set parameters and profile options, set funding sources like IBA and CBA options, and add safeguards to ensure accurate profile booking. 
Both vendors have dedicated account managers available 24 seven that you can access quickly at your fingertips. When travelers use the for business Lyft and Uber apps under the GSA blanket purchase agreement for their official government travel, no cash is required. You get access to electronic receipts and all associated trip data is available for you via the app and flows directly into your agency's dedicated dashboard that can be used to generate usage, sustainability, and year-end spending reports. As a comparison to the government-wide rideshare ride-hail solution is the U.S. government rental car solution. This program is managed by the Defense Travel Management Office. Most bookings come with unlimited mileage, no minimum rental period, and the biggest thing is that there is no fee for underage drivers. Commercially, they would not be able to get a rental car, but under this program, there would be no problem, which really is a great benefit to those new troops that are going TDY. So, how did Rob perform? If he took this trip from DC to New York, the max he would spend would be over $1,300. That's with the YCA airfare, max per diem rate for lodging, and the least expensive car rental. He could, at minimum, spend just over $900 by booking early with the lower cost Dash CA airfare, saving $116 on that piece of it. The Fedrim's property with Fedrim's rate for three nights, saving $207 there. And using the rideshare program for a savings of $89. So Rob saves his agency and taxpayers $412 by just taking advantage of GSA's travel programs and solutions available to him. By doing some simple things, like booking early and online, taking the lower airfare dash CA rate, using the Fedrim's property and rate, you are going to save your agency money too. We are all taxpayers and we should all be cognizant of overspending on a TDY trip. Thank you for the opportunity to share with you the benefits of GSA's travel programs. We have representatives from each GSA travel program on the line to answer any pending questions in the chat. However, if you think of any questions after our training session ends, please feel free to reach out to the program's point of contact. This concludes the pre-recorded presentation. Please stay on the line for the Q&A portion of the training. Thank you.